everyone, welcome back to the next episode of Waifu Wars. I'm that cute little loli that's rubbing up on you and oh, I piss myself in my diaper. Drooby doo. And I'm your local loli drug dealer with all that good stuff, Sobroni. Welcome back to the next episode of Waifu Wars podcast. Where we talk about all things anime, the good, the bad, and the weeb, but not your waifu because... She is trash. How are you doing, Oni? I'm doing very well. How are you doing, Drew? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this weekend's been a lot. There's a lot of things have happened. I just had to wait for two hours on my food, on my delivery. Mm. So crazy how the moment I'm about to cancel and get my refund, I'll magically, my food is here. And good to go. They were waiting for you. That's okay. I got a ten dollar perk, so <laughs> uh, shout out to Grubhub, I guess. Yeah, just a just a lot of, just a lot of shit happened. This weekend was wild. Um one thing I did, one one silver lining, I should say. While I was studying for my online test. Uh, I listened to Andre 3000's new album. Oh yeah, that did drop. How was it? If you like flutes, <laughs> <laughs> it's per- It's such oh, it's perfect study. Mu- this is this is my to go to study music for forever, forever, forever. Think think of lo fi beats, but like you know, actual instruments and I don't know. It's it's Andre 3000 like. It was good. Like, I literally was studying so much that I was like, where are we on this list? And I was like, oh, I'm at the last song already. No. Mm. And then I I paused it because I wanted to, like, wait for, like, the last song. I want to be high at some point and just listen to this shit, okay? (laughs) (laughs) I I want to be high and listen to the whistles and all the other instruments that they have. That's all. But, yeah, it was, uh... It was a heck of a weekend. I hope everyone else's weekend was good. Um, oh, Thanksgiving's coming up. I'm gonna be going up, uh, up north. Uh, what about you? Are you just you you're staying I'm at your staying house, right? Local, yes. Got you, got you. Mm-hmm. Well, to everyone, wish you a. Uh, Wonderful Thanksgiving and all that jazz. Eat lots of turkey and shit. I don't know. Um, yeah. Let's get this podcast started. We're gonna start off with our uh, new segment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Called this week in anime. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um. All right. Coin Anime News Network. Anime NYC is moving to to August in 2024 with the whole Jacob Javits Center. Praise the Lord. Honestly, I'm like, about time. Yes, <laughs> thank God. I don't know why Comic-Con does, like, I guess they, they Anime NYC just wanted to be close to Comic-Con, so they also do it in the winter. But there should never be a convention held in New York in the winter. It's Past the October? No, just cut it yeah, off. Just, stop it. No, yeah. just don't. Right, don't, don't. But now they went. They said we're going earlier. It was gonna be in August, yo. Let's go. Let me tell you, the 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 STI rate is about to spike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> the horny weebs are gonna be doing what they do, and by they I mean me. Mm. So as I tell everybody, if you see me. Uh, giving head to someone that looks like Nanami. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're very excited for that. The tickets are actually going up in December fifth, which is nuts. Well, you guys know what to get me for my birthday. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the four hundred dollar ones. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, let me just get right on that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so 
we are looking forward to that of course listen the way it's gonna be oh my god press release please 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 take us back (laughs) we'll do anything we'll do anything yes listen i already said i was gonna suck nanami's dick i'm like (laughs) what's one more but yeah so that's my little piece of news only what you got for me um the pokemon concierge stop motion animated series dropped a trailer uh, this weekend, and it looked really, really fucking cute and nice. Oh I was God. not expecting it to be uh, this pretty, but if you guys have not seen the, the trailer, <sighs> because I was not in love with the concept. I was like, oh, Pokemon Resort and maybe whatever. Me too. I wasn't, but I saw the, the, the stop animation. I was just like, stop oh motion my, looks, stop motion. It's so it's cute. So, it's so good. It looks oh. really beautiful. Like, some of the way that the Pokemon are designed and stuff is so creative and Fucking Psyduck looks so fun. I just want to hug the shit out of that. Right. <laughs> between between Psyduck and that one moment of, like, the Pidgeot just flying <laughs> into mm-hmm. someone's... <laughs> I'm just like, yes, I just need the hijinks like that. That's yes, all. Yeah, I'm sold. Sold. It's, I'm super sold. It was really beautiful. It had such nice, relaxing, cute music. And it looks genuinely funny. So, you know what? I'm here for a Pokemon series that's not about collecting badges and shit. I just want to see some Pokemon... Slice of life. Let's go. Absolutely. Usually that's not something I would say, but... When this case... When, right. Yeah, when it looks this cute, I'm on board mm-hmm. as well. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. All that's right. Um... Damn, I feel like there's something I want to talk about that's not really, like, part of the news segment. It's just, like, a quick little, like, by the by. Um... Was it, was it one of the... Oh! Speaking of cute things i started watching shit what's the name of the anime it's the one where we were just like this is clearly like catered for the gays um um the one oh was it it's like it's like my boss is goofy or something like that uh-huh. like, i have a goofy boss mm-hmm. no the one with the, all the dude all the dudes right yeah yo <laughs> i'm like I kind of get, like, oh, I kind of get it. I understand the slice of life. Like, this is so, this was so adorable. Oh, my God. This, everything about it is just so cute. Like, he's so, like, the boss in question is so derpy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, there's one scene where he's just, like, I don't know, there's like this running joke about him mistaking like someone he someone asked him a question and then they thought he was asking about a flounder and then at some point in the middle of the episode <laughs> the, the, they add extra gag at the end there's like oh yeah by the way he sent i didn't have the heart to tell him that that this is not a picture of a flounder like <laughs> <laughs> just little stuff like shit like i'm sorry little stuff like that it's just so cute um so yeah, to all to all my queer babies, definitely consider watching. Uh, my new boss is Goofy, aka Atarashi Joshi wa Dotenen. It's a yeah, it's very cute, it's a very cute anime. I'm really liking it so far. Um, but yeah, just wanted to throw that out there because it was on my mind. Um, but now that we're done with the news, it's time to start our weekly reviews, and we are going mm-hmm. to start with. So, so no freedom. Uh, episode eleven. <laughs> yeah, well, like, what? <laughs> Close so further along than you thought. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, uh, this was more of a laid back kind of setup episode. Yeah, uh, compared to the last few weeks, which. I, I, I'm here for because it gives us a little bit of a break to uh, readjust to a new arc. Yeah, it, absolutely. Like we just had a lot happen. Mm-hmm. I'm here. I'm here to just chill and just go back, to kind of the slice chill of life. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Because they almost froze to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, by they I mean Stark. I'm, I'm like, Stark. I'm like, God, why is Stark? How is Stark so amazing at such a bitch at the same time? <laughs> They're really good at that. Yeah, like he's. He's dumb enough to be, like, the comedic relief, but it doesn't take away from the fact that he's still so badass. <laughs> right. I'm Okay, well, I wouldn't even go that far to call him badass. He's, he he's... took a, an axe to the gut. I'll give him the badass status. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but then he, like, passed out in front of the 
cast out twice, <laughs> not even once, twice this he episode. Cast out twice this episode, and they had to carry him out with magic. <laughs> so yes, the, I, the, but he's cool. I won't give him badass. <laughs> he has to work a little harder for badass. <laughs> But yeah, that execution bit at the beginning was funny, though. <laughs> yeah. Where he thought he was going to get beheaded, and then they're like, no, it's it's fine. Um. Also, was th- was that montage, was that by Eimer? That sounded like Eimer. I, I think so, yeah. It did sound a little bit like Eimer. It probably was. He still got oh. work. And did she stop? No. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um. Yeah, that was that was random. I'm just like, oh, cool. It's just Imer singing. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, my Madhouse does have Imer money. Yeah, either. they got they got the cash for it. They're like, listen, there's no crazy animation this episode. Let's give them an Imer song. Let's go. Period. <laughs> yeah, um, used to budget on something. And then they run into their next problem that's stopping them from you know heading to the north, which is a certification exam, which. Everyone has to take. Dun, dun, dun. I like Fern's reaction, just being like, oh my god, are you an underground dark market mage? Black market mage? <laughs> right, she's like, can you not call me that? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's very interesting. And I even consider the fact that uh, uh, Free Run's been alive so long, like, yeah, she, she's just like, I wouldn't feel the need to have to yeah. do all that stuff because it, it changes so many times. So it's things you don't think about when you're like immortal. Be like, oh fuck, I had to redo my driver's license that many times. <laughs> exactly. Like, and, and it comes with new qualifications, mm-hmm. new this, new that. So, if you read about the show, be like, bitch, I invented magic. Like, give me that. Give me that first information. Yes, I mean, well, she didn't, but close yeah. enough. She- not at all. Flame taught her everything. She didn't <laughs> come up with shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> she was, she's been around long enough where she can. Who's gonna dispute that fact? <laughs> um, everyone who believes that Flame wrote those books. <laughs> 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 Which once again, like this book, like ever all the others. Oh, this is a fake. I wonder. Did I'm like, did she write them all? Did Flan? Did did did, did Flan? Did um Frieden just yeah. write them all and just was like That'd be <laughs> interesting. That'd be an interesting little twist. And then she's like, I'm gonna take them back because I don't know, I feel bad about I don't know, posing as my teacher. I don't know. It's <laughs> very That'd interesting. Be because they're all fake. Mm-hmm. And she happens to know that they're all fake. Hmm, I don't know. Is this my is this my uh little conspiracy theory for this series? So it's a pretty might good conspiracy be, theory. Might be. Oh, um, so we get this new elf, uh, this elf monk called Kraft. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, yeah. 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 I I thought I, I was trying really hard not to say that, but <laughs> I'm sorry, but they spelled it with a K and everything. Right, right. They were they were thinking about it. I I love the introduction to him. <laughs> which, <laughs> we just closed the door and pray. everyone's like, No, we can't say with him, he's clearly a pervert. <laughs> Why is it anytime men are like shirtless doing something athletic, it's it's con- an anime, they're just perverts. Listen, he was grunting pretty pretty uh passionately. He was like, Ugh. He's clearly doing <sighs> squats. Like <sighs> we, we can see uh, don't, we don't can hear see me that loud, buddy. I go to the gym, I don't hear people being like fucking while they're doing First squats. of all, girl, you go to gym <laughs> like I like as many times You go to the gym fucking... less times than I go to the doctor. <laughs> so I don't want to hear it. And when you and listen, when you're doing squats to not die from cold, I don't know. I don't. I don't think anyone at the gym was on the verge of death. So I'm just saying. <laughs> um. But yeah. So they end up living with him for like six months, which you know, that's. A, I don't know. I'm literally was thinking it's gonna be like, oh yeah, we um. What's the the winter for like or this bad snowstorm for yeah, like, for like week three or weeks, mm-hmm. maybe a month? No, nope, half a year. I'm uh, like, yeah, time damn. passes by way too quickly in this. I hope we don't get like some major time skip where it's like Stark and Fern become like fifty or sixty or something like. That. And then thirty years passed. I mean, I, I don't want something that abrupt, but yeah, I'm I'm here for these one or two year time skips for sure. Yeah, one or two is fine. Yeah. Like I want to see them as like 
adult adults, you know? That would be, that, I wouldn't be mad against that. Like, you know, if they're like maybe early 20s. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. But yeah, no, it, it was a chill episode. Um, I feel like, I don't know, Kraft was trying to bond with Freeran on them being elves and she was just not having it. <laughs> Mhm. Uh, but yeah, no, they they all bonded with him in different ways. He bonded with Stark because Stark wanted to train. Bonded with Friend because, uh, or sorry, it's Fern. Just, he was also pseudo religious, or at least he was raised. Yeah, by the monk. she was raised by by the monk. So yeah, she cares about religion. Mhm. You know, to the point where they all ended up praying before they ate their meal. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it was just a very chill episode. Like, it, it was kind of started and ended before I knew it. Yeah, which I, you know, I like these little types of episodes. We got to see a little bit more character relationship building, especially between, like, Stark and Fern and Free Ren and Craft. So, it was nice. Yeah, agreed. Um, <laughs> someone in chat, shout out to Arthane. Uh, was going on about how like it's so refreshing to see the chemistry between the three of them, mm-hmm. you know. The boy, he's like, "Wow, it seems like they're actually friends." <laughs> yeah, they have a relationship. Good to guess, right? So, and I'm like, yeah, you know, honestly, they don't. Yeah, friend, uh, series that involve friendships, they don't really do it quite like um, free run. Mm-hmm. Not as often. It feels very contrived. Very, this is the anime formula for friendship. Yeah. So like, this this anime kind of fills out the nooks and crannies in terms of, you know, what goes into actual friendship between people. So yeah, I'm a fan of that. Good episode. Mm-hmm. All right, let's move on to Pop the Carry Diaries episode. Seven. It's my girl Mau Mau pulling out the moves. Okay, so like I said, and I I I feel like this con- I think this basically said that I was right. I was like I don't think she like I said I didn't think she was trying to like kill her with the poison because that wouldn't make any sense. I so it wasn't it was. Or at least yeah. she was guilty. She was guilty, but it was something it was, far less devious yeah. than just, just like trying to be like. She was just swapped the like, yeah. right to just to it, make it you like suffer. It was just right. a prank, bro. Right, a really <laughs> bad prank that can kill people, but a prank nonetheless. Yeah, I know. Meanwhile, the, Oni, last week you were pretty adamant that she was like involved with like this poisoning conspiracy. I didn't say all that. I just said she was all responsible, mm. and she was being evil. But yeah, yes. So she was unfortunately the little lowly. Uh, yes, is being so, bullied by her. Yes, I know. I feel. I feel so bad. I feel bad. She's bull- being bullied for the the reason that I pointed out. Like, hey, isn't it fucking weird that this nine year old who was the concubine of the emperor is now going to be the concubine of his son? Yeah, basically <laughs> her stepson. But it's like, all right. It's not like she has a choice. Yeah, she doesn't have a choice. <laughs> I'm not saying she deserves to get married. I mean, sorry, she deserves the yeah. bullying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the emperor was just a lowly con. I was like, nine-year-old, yes, I will marry her. But then she's like, well, fuck it, I'm in the situation I'm in. Yeah, basically. Uh, I just feel bad. And I do like that they like kind of do the callbacks last episode of, of like the weird conversations that were happening. Like We thought it was just like kind of like, pointless drama but it actually happened for a reason mm-hmm. you know all of it a lot of it was because of her being bullied you know the the comment about her kimono mm-hmm. etc so that was cool um also apparently in addition to being uh uh what you cause it what is it is it, is it not what 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 would be someone who pet, that handles the medicine? Not an alchemist. Is it alchemist? Uh, for and what? What she does with like handling herbs and stuff. Apothecary. Apothecary. Is that the is that the title? 
Yeah. Of someone who does that? Apothec- she's an apothecary? I thought that was like the name well, of the I don't store. Know, I'm <laughs> I, in my mind, I thought that was, like, the name of the place. Like, I went to the apothecary. But I guess if that's their actual role, then yeah. That's like saying I went to the doctor. Okay. So in addition to her being an apothecary, she's also a forensic scientist? <laughs> yeah, she works she, the, I will say, I will say, my, that's my whole thing with the episode. She was taking a lot of liberties with them fingerprints. Yeah, listen, she was like, this reveals fingerprints. And I was going to be like, yeah, which we shouldn't know about at this point in time in history. <laughs> Like they had forensics invented by them. And and you know what? I was willing to like I was willing to give her the fingerprints. I was willing to let her have that. I'm not letting her have like, oh, I can tell how many people touch this book. Like I'm like, all right, girl. Now you're <laughs> now now this well, is what if one much. person just touched it all like multiple times, it kinda of ruins your theory. <laughs> exactly. You can't you cannot look at um fingerprints and determine what how many people touched it just by eyesight. That's literally impossible. That's literally an impossibility. <laughs> so I was like, mm, "You, you, you guys were a little bit too ambitious with that." Well, yeah, in my opinion, liberties. <laughs> right, just a little, just sort of a choto, you know. I let him have it. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Girl, what is this?" Um. Oh yeah, and then the whole hairpin uh, mm-hmm. fiasco. Where, oh my god, Mau Mau. Mau Mau's dumbass. <laughs> He's like, oh, I can just get people to go home with me. Yeah, like, and, I'm, and everyone's like, um, everyone, myself included, was like, I think it means something, like, when a guy yeah. gives you a hairpin. <laughs> nah. I love the, uh, what's her name? The, the, uh, courtesan that Mau Mau works for. Mm-hmm. Just trolling the shit out of the guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, She's I'm like, oh, yeah. Mau Mau it pinned to someone else. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um. Also, the military dude ended just turned out to be such an asshole. Like. Yeah. He's kind like, of dick. Like, when did that happen? He was just like, oh, I'm gonna take my. Di-. And then on, then in this episode, like even before she met, she saw him with the with the freckles on. He was already being kind of like mm-hmm. dickish. I was like, ill. I'm pretty sure he he kind of like. Stop liking her after he saw her get turned on from eating poison. It was probably like, that's fucking weird. Oh. Uh, wait, no, not everyone saw that. They saw her. He they just saw her saying, this is poison, and she ran out. I don't think everyone yeah, saw. He, she saw her looking like Shokugeki no Soma, looking beautiful, luscious lips, and being like, oh, beautiful fucking poison. Oh. Uh. Well, whatever. He's <laughs> a, still a dick, but she convinces him with the power of pussy, just not mm. hers. <laughs> Listen, you have to fuck me. I got someone you can meet. Yep. Which she, which she pays with her own <laughs> money, and I'm like, you know what? See your dad. I get it. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, "Oh yeah, it's been ten months." I was like, "Whoa." <laughs> <laughs> even longer that's even longer than the social no free end time skip yeah well we're getting a lot of quick time skips around here Mm-mm-mm. like she comes back and her father's act like nothing happened like oh Ye- you're I know. a little longer yeah you were going for a minute what's up <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean I guess he read the notes mm-hmm. the letters that she sent so there's that but I was just like yo I swear to god if she comes back and he's dead I'm never forgiving this anime Mm-hmm. I will never forgive this anime ever. <sighs> I we did get a little bit of an ominous ending though, where his father, her father, was just like, mm, "What a twist of fate!" Oh yes, I saw that. Yes, a twist of fate at the end, where he's alluding he has something to do with the what's the name of the place, the rear end. The rear, yeah, the rear end. The, <laughs> the rear end. The rear palace. You know what I mean. The rear. Something. Something's going on in the rear. He's about to be like, I'm the emperor. Um. Okay. <laughs> I've been smashing all these quotas. Oh my god. I'd be like, and you made us live in poverty this entire time, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <sighs> oh, all right. Let's move on to Spy Family season two, episode seven. The the continuation of the your beatdowns. Mm-hmm. 
That that was a very excellent good fight scene, which Anya did a great job covering for. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's a circus lady. This is a show. Mm-hmm. It's all an act. And the viewer like, let's crowd around them. I'm just like, oh no. I mean, I understand <laughs> why this is happening, but like, oh no. Also, what kind of assassin? This is one thing I don't like about anime. What kind of the assassin uses a fucking ball and trial? not even not even that. I mean, that too. Mm-hmm. Well, what assassin doesn't care about? keeping up a facade like like you're just gonna keep fighting her mm-hmm. and if it was literally for any other anime it would have been like oh people are coming time to go like smoke smoke bomb and i'm out so Fuck that. yeah it's it, overrated he wants to be like why are we <laughs> fighting in front of a awesome. crowd on a boat <laughs> Yeah, so that that part confused me because I'm just like, that's you're not an assassin. You're just like, <laughs> he's he's literally me when I'm playing Hitman. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just there's no witnesses if I kill right. them all. <laughs> right, and that's not a good Hitman. <laughs> I'm someone tells me you are not great at that game. No, no. <laughs> exactly. Mm-mm-mm. But either way, she takes him down by being a badass bitch. Um. <laughs> Lloyd is he looked he looked crazy. Mm. That boy Lloyd looked crazy. Just like that. I'm like in my back of my mind, I said I'm like, yo, this is definitely Oni. <laughs> my like, fashion sense. Yes, this is this Listen, is definitely I wouldn't wear all of that together with those tentacle shoes, like slippers or whatever. Like I knew there was gonna be something on the outfit that you would like. Because that, I'd that's something you would wear. I'd wear those on a cruise. You would wear mismatching pants and shorts. No, I didn't say all about that. I said the technical slippers. Girl, I've seen mismatch before. I'm not. A- I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm not asking. I'm telling. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was funny. And then he kept being like super serious. Like that morning, that monologue in the morning, or you just like. I must. Da, 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 da. I'm just like, girl, what is th- what is going on? What's happening? <laughs> Very ridiculous. Um. And yeah, and then we got to we got some um interesting dialogue from uh the man pretending to be her husband, the the target's husband. Mm-hmm. Seems to have a thing for her. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it kind of has a thing for her ever since he saved her with that piece of bread. But then he's also a bit of a scaredy cat. I feel like he's going to die. I don't know if he's going to die. I feel like it's a very 50-50. It's very 50-50. Because he's like, they're building up to him being a coward too much. So it's going to be one of those like, I wasn't a coward at that moment. I think he'll get hurt. Oh, yes. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Hurt, yes. Injured. Yeah, like maybe Definitely shot. It'll be like okay, I I don't think Spy Family is gonna be dark enough to you know what I mean <laughs> to know, murder not, people. Not somebody who's like they're not gonna not have a happy ending to the arc. You know what I mean? It will be happy. happy. He just won't be there to see it. <laughs> 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 it just won't be happy for him. <laughs> Difference. Ah. Uh. Um, but yeah. Um, other than that, I don't think I have anything really stand outish about this episode. No, it was mostly just Anya actually just having little moments where she was trying to escape from Lloyd and doing little cutesy, mm-hmm. you know, side yeah. mission stuff. It was nice. It's always yeah. nice to see the Lloyd Anya stuff, but nothing crazy. Yeah. It, you know, it's still a good episode, of course. Mm hmm. Yeah, looking forward to next week. I feel like it's gonna be the conclusion question mark. Yeah, Maybe. I, don't, I don't think they're gonna drag along that long. God, I hope not. All right, it's gonna be the rest of the season's gonna be this arc watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, up next, we're uh, what's up next? Oh yeah, we have Hyakunin no Kanajo, episode six. Um, episode seven, I think. It is seven. Sorry, that is 
<laughs> that was the, the wrong page I was looking at. It's seven. I, is this time my episode of the week? I don't know. Um, this was an episode. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of this is kind of uh, this is kind of crazy. I will give it half my episode of the week. Right. Same. Okay. Because yeah. this was wild. <laughs> this was wild, and I'm pretty sure this girl might be my favorite. Yeah, you know, we were arguing, or not arguing, we were mentioning before, like, oh, well, this is a cute premise and everything, but how is it, how are they going to maintain this premise for a hundred girlfriends? How are they going to, eventually, it's going to get stale. And I think we found our answer to that. <laughs> just <laughs> girl, drug everybody. Just drugs. <laughs> <laughs> drugs. The answer was drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it's so had so many out of pocket moments, <laughs> like literally, all she was doing was just <laughs> drugging people without their consent or knowledge <laughs> that they're getting drugged. That's all she did. I'm just like, girl, what? <laughs> the whole like, oh, I want to try meth at some point. Yeah, that sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I'm doing meth, and I'm like, oh, meth. Why are you mentioning meth? I'm like, oh my god, why? Are they, why are we talking about meth? <laughs> What the Breaking Bad is going on? <laughs> oh my it's gosh! Like breaking Bad in my Doctor No Kanajo. <laughs> that part where she like is stuck to him and she just pees in front of him. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god! I was like, wow. So I don't know. Was it, I'm like, was this worse than Kiss Exist? I don't know. No, this this one is for the degenerates. This is the degenerate girlfriend. D- drugs, drugs, kiss, kiss. <laughs> like oh meth. <laughs> <laughs> I know meth is also a drug, but I feel like that has deserves like a separate tag. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I love how he just literally just starts like having a seizure. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh no, the medicine. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, you gave her, you gave him like at least two to three different chemicals in like yeah. ten minutes. And I'm sure none of them are FDA approved, <laughs> right? <laughs> and the FDA, she's like, oh, doco. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, she she was. She's also the crazy. most like. Next to, uh, I always forget the pink hair girl's name. Um, ha, wait, no, I know her name. Hakari, uh, like ha- Hakari, yeah. Next to Hakari, she's definitely the most like horny, horny, yeah, yeah. That's why I like her. It's like she has like a, she's like mischievous, but she's mm. still very horny. Um, and that accent. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I love her little speech thing. Hmm. Oh my god. Has, has the more I know about her, because that ahoge is like <laughs> intense. That's an intense ahoge. According to Morag, his favorite girl is still AI. Yeah, no, that makes sense. He's he's into the more older. Haired, yeah. Yeah. Um I liked it. I actually liked all the interactions she had with all the girls, which just involved her drugging them. <laughs> yeah, various <laughs> drugging interactions that she's had. Um, I, I don't think I Karani. Well, Karani didn't take the one made for her. No, she just she beat just, the shit out of. She uh, just beat the shit. The shit out of Ryan Taro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> their, <laughs> their little abuse cycle. I think. Like, oh, and then I'm just. And I'm just <laughs> first of all, yeah, I felt very, I felt very seen in that moment. Mm. Where so it says something and I just like get super defensive. I just like cursing. I'm like, the fuck you? Da, da, da. And they're like, oh no, you meant something else. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't sorry. mean that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I was like, I don't like it. I... <laughs> How dare you? I did not give you my permission to use my like likeness in this anime. <laughs> And like um, Kari just taking the drug and imagining that somehow even she's gonna have an even fatter ass and bigger tits until the point where it was like cartoonishly crazy proportions, looking like Raiko. <laughs> um, I mean, there. Are, I mean, this is anime. They're already cartoonishly yeah, even like more, even more right. so. <laughs> uh, and then eyes where she's just like. Hmm, I like this. And then when she kisses him with the hair, she's like, I really like this. Mm-hmm. Also, I feel like, you know, AI hair dojins won. 
that's gotta like I'm, I'm, yeah i'm pretty sure we can get those right i it has like there's too many things you can do with that yeah hair jobs um, um also I had a cute one too Oh yeah, she's because they're just cute. She's just girls like oh, horse bunny ears. ears. The bunny ears, yeah, sure. Some some ambiguous animals ears. Right. Um oh yeah, and then Hakari also when she got put on the uh on the on the uniform, she, she got her uh, sniff fetish on. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Um and I <laughs> We're at the end where, of course, they drink the wrong, uh, drink the wrong tea. I'm just like, why is Kusuri's solution to solve something is just to drug it? Just drug everything. Everyone and everything. Like, you can just ask for a kiss like a normal human being. Nah. And then drug people into, and then she's like, Oh no, I keep messing up. I'm like, yeah, girl, we keep messing up because you keep drugging people without their permission. <laughs> yes. You Why keep does messing this up. Always happen? <laughs> Stop drugging people without their consent. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. All that to say, she's still incredibly entertaining. And, and this arc is very stupid because now they're just kiss zombies who are going to remain kiss zombies unless they can save them with the. Yes. With more drugs, so yay! <laughs> I hope we get a full-on Resident Evil parody next episode. Oh my god, yes. That'd be so good. Alright, let's move on to Goblin Sureya. Episode... Oh, season 2, episode 7. We didn't slay... We did indeed slay some goblins this episode. <laughs> Plot twist, goblins died. Goblins were slayed. They were slayed. Um, I don't know. I know it's called Goblin Slayer. And I know we, we talked about this ad multiple times. I'm just like, girl, can it, can it be like goblins and other things? No, just goblins. God, does it have <laughs> to just be goblins? Jesus. I mean, sometimes there's a goblin shaman or like a that, that's still goblin. goblin. Those are still goblins. <laughs> <laughs> still goblins, but okay. <laughs> like I'm not saying we can't kill goblins, like, but like, like goblins also this. And no, I don't count the wolves. <laughs> yeah, the wolves that they're riding. On. I do not count I, those. I don't mind. Uh, yeah, I got your kind of It'd be interesting if it was like I don't know, like if it played into a bigger plot or something. To a certain extent, like maybe it's like the goblins are working for a wizard. I mean, like... I feel like that's what they kind of implied this episode. Yeah, but it's like probably different, smarter goblins. <laughs> I'm just a smart goblin. Like, <laughs> yeah, Arc Bitch, Arc Bitch, Dark. Yeah, that's her name. Yeah, she's the Arc Bishop. Mm-hmm. Um, she sends a letter for the elves, being like, oh, and she's saying a bunch of like ominous shit, like, oh, he, like, she starts getting really weird and prophetic and starts saying stuff like, oh, yes, he will be the one to save the world. And I'm just like, girl, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's cool that he's getting like a bigger role. I mean, I also have been fine with him just being like, we're adventurers and, we're just growing and killing goblins, but sure, it's throwing a plot to save the world while we're at it. Dot dot dot. Um, this nest that they're going through was huge. Jesus. Yeah, it's like a giant fucking castle citadel. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I just assume it's not their own. Yeah, no, they definitely didn't build it. They just like found it. Right. Um and yeah, they're they're um <laughs> they're like, oh, they're poisoning the water supply. And I'm like, huh, that's yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. Mm. I mean, you know, if I crushed up humans and had their fluids running in and why did and why did why did Goblin Slayer have to say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> in front, in front of the elf, he like, <laughs> oh yeah, crushing up. You guys are consuming their blood and feces of your own kind, bathing <laughs> it and putting that water all over yourselves. I'm like, oh my god, 
Yeah, very graphic. Thanks, Tom Slayer. Very like, sensitive. can you not? Ugh. Also, Ugh. What's, the, what's the point of that other than just to be dicks? So they mentioned something like, oh, like, like yeah, they're trying to imply that it's a, it's a curse of sorts. I'm not sure how much validity that is. They could just be dicks and just like, yeah, we want you to, to drink shit of your <laughs> own people. Like, I wouldn't put it past an elf to just be that much of a dick for no me- no reason. Um. Oh, and, then, and yeah, and then randomly they have this, like, very, like, somber... This is the, the world's most somber, uh... I guess it wasn't really a, a bachelor party. I thought it was a ba- I think they were trying to, like, put it multiple things at once in that one meeting. Like, bachelor's party slash meeting about the goblins. Mm-hmm. And then it just got very somber, and then God, and the Goblin Slayer started boohooing about his sister. Yeah, it was just, uh... It was a lot. Like, they were definitely getting drunk, because it's like, they were drinking multiple cups of wine. So I could tell, you know, after a couple of drinks, Goblin Slayer was like, Wham, my sister. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then the elf just passed out. Oh, uh, that was funny. But yeah. It was an episode of Goblin Slaying. Um, I thought it was a cool idea that they used uh, the the skeleton uh, people to oh, be yeah, a decoy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty smart. I like that. But yeah, no, that was, that was the majority of the episode. I guess they're gonna go after they wake up, they're gonna go further in. Mm-hmm. Um. Also, someone tell a priestess to not knock the fuck up. You would think she'd be used to it by now, right? Like, girl, you already know what time it is. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm like that. Exact. Right? Like, come on, get on board, mama. All right. Um. Up next. We have Jujutsu Kaisen, season two, episode 15. No, Um, 17. 17. Why I say 15? (laughs) I'm like, whoa. Why I randomly write this number down? (laughs) I'm like thinking back on it now. I'm just like, where did I get 15 from? And that was a 16. Okay, it's weird. I don't know why I wrote 15 in my notes. But yes, um... <laughs> so, Megami was like, well, if I'm gonna die, <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking you with me. And then he summoned... I forget the name of the creature. I um, was well, but it looked really fucking badass. Right. Summons, like, the summoning that you're not supposed to summon, but he does it, like, as a part of a ritual, where apparently you need two people, and he's like, well, the asshole trying to kill me, you can be one of them. And I guess the monster's gonna fight them trying to subjugate. Mm. Thinking that, like, you must subjugate me in order to have me. Um. So, Sakuna senses this, and is like, wait, Chotomate. <laughs> I forgot I forgot he has some like weird hard on for Megami. Mm-hmm. And then Megami was like and then he's like, hmm. Guess I have to take this down. Which leads to a crazy epic ass fight that I kinda wanna watch again. Like this fight was like almost like the entire episode. It was really, really good, especially because it was so right. long and it was like maintained the quality all the way through. So I, I just listen. I feel super bad for the animators, but that was an amazing fight. That was an um, amazing fight. My issue, though, mm-hmm. and we we touched on this last week, but like, who the fuck is left in Shibuya? <laughs> like, there are so many they're, people. They're, they've all they they're so. They're all there's dead. so many like the vast majority like the vast majority I'm sure there's survivors but there's not a lot 
no, after no. after I after Jugo, I was like, there might be like you know, okay, maybe that part of the side. No, after this, nah. The the next the next arc has to be the rest of the world nuking the fucking Jujutsu sorcerers for being a th- so inefficient and being a threat to everybody. Okay, <laughs> that's not that's not what's gonna happen because that's not how that works. They literally um, like let an entire city just get destroyed um it's sukuna like it's sukuna so well what can you do who who's who's housing him the, what about him like like That's what I mean. <laughs> the entire world like wait so sukuna did this where's sukuna oh he's with the jujitsu sorcerers in the fucking you know the school oh we're we're, we're nuking that school right now and killing everybody oh well, I mean, I would hope they wouldn't go straight to nuking because the thing about nuking it kind of will blow up more than just that school. Well, so they I don't do think they're gonna nuke. I don't think I, I don't think Jap- this... the Japan of all places is not going to like the, hit the nuke button. The alternative is to leave this dude who's capable of like just destroying cities. <laughs> First of all, I feel like the government doesn't even know what what a Sukuna is. Well, they should. That's what I mean. Like at this point, they're gonna be like, oh. Shibuya was mysteriously destroyed, and we have no idea what caused it. Just lava everywhere. There's no. Fucking... There is. <laughs> I feel like anyone who was close enough to get footage is dead. So dot dot dot. <laughs> it's not a subtle destruction. I, I just don't think you can write it off as like, oh well. And no one ever found out the reason behind why Shibuya was decimated, and hundreds of thousands of people were killed. Who knows? I, mean, I don't think a hundred thousand people were killed, well, it's but a, a lot. Big city, it's a pretty dense. But they were only in that one spot. Like it wasn't all of Shibuya. It was like Shibuya in that one area. I mean, so it's just, just downtown Shibuya. Either way, yeah, no, it's kind. The destruction's kind of in was insane. Like like I said, Jugo. I already was thinking that when Jugo like destroyed everything. Well, Jugo and Sakuna sure everything but Sukuna literally just said time to obliterate everything like <laughs> so yeah that was insanity um and yeah so yeah the I, I don't think the government like I said the government doesn't know they're not gonna know what's gonna cause this cause the sorcerers are gonna be go- well hmm That'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Because that's one thing I liked about Supernatural. Was like, at every point, there comes like a couple of episodes in each season where they have to literally actively duck the FBI. <laughs> because they kill things, but all that's left is like the corpses of people. <laughs> the FBI is just like, oh, well, you guys were in the scene of all these crimes. Ergo. Mm hmm. So it'd be cool if there was like an element to that. I don't think it's gonna happen. But yeah. this anime is smart enough that I feel like they're gonna write it off. They're not gonna just be like, oh, and we're not gonna touch on upon the fact that everything was destroyed. And you know, like they're gonna talk about it. They're gonna they they're gonna touch on that. it. <laughs> they're gonna touch on it, how the people um or how the government, how non sorcerers react to this, because this was huge like like you said this is huge it wasn't just like oh i did kind of just destroyed the building this is like oh this this whole there's a crater in the earth and like corpses are everywhere mm-hmm. so yeah we'll 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 see i'm in, i'm interested in that now that you mentioned it my other major issue though with this episode was mm-hmm. just the the song choice at the end Weird, oh my god! Weird song. I'm sorry, I can't get over that. It you was the opening, play... and then it is the closing. You can't play that opening over what is supposed to be a somber and sad and serious moment, and be like, "Okay, that was." <laughs> it made, it took was... me out of the moment. I was fine with it. It'd be like if fucking <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, like, like. Some super sad moment, like Goku's dying, like during the Cell Saga, he's giving his like speech to to go on like oh don't don't worry i'm gonna die now and then rock the dragon just starts like dragon dragon we're rock the dragon balls like it, it kills the moment it's not that type of song 
I mean... If they did, like, a reprise version of it... Or if yeah, it was just like, kind a of... slower version or something like that... I or even if they, like... They kind of, like, dinned it in the background, mm -hmm. maybe. Well, yeah, like, it was, like, the instrumental, the instrumental was also pretty, pretty tight. Then, if they, yeah. if they did, like, a remix of it or something that was more, like, appropriate, I think it would have been better. Agreed. But, you know... <laughs> I... I... I it, it wasn't a problem for me. I'll just, say, I'll just <laughs> say that. I was not as butthurt by that. I was. My butt is still aching. No. <laughs> Listen, there's screams for that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the the animation in the middle because you know one thing I I noted what the animation was kind of giving in the middle of them fighting. What? I feel like it got to a point where it started like it felt like Monica. Did it not kind of give Monica vibes to you? A little bit now that you mention it. You just like the texture of 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 Sukuna and like mm. those flashes or just you know it was like I don't know, it, it was like very close to that weird um animation that they do in Monica in in um plenty of the frames, like in the in the in the middle of the fight. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, that kind of weird effect. Yeah, it was really cool. The, the, those motions where Sakuna is like dashing through, but you only just see like the dark in the version of it. Like you see like his face like blacked out. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I some some could argue that they just did that to save money, <laughs> but <laughs> even if so, like that's a cool way to save money. So I'm not mad at it. Yeah, it worked. You know, right? Exactly, it worked. Um. So yeah, excellent episode. Great fighting. Apparently, there was a uh a... what you call it. There was kind of like a typo. I'm 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 looking this up on Twitter because this is literally <laughs> this is literally something that. I know my friend said it was about a uh, god why is he never online when i need him useless friend <laughs> um basically he said something to the effect of there was like a mistranslation of something mm -hmm. I'm, I'm i'm looking for it i'm looking or it's it's not gonna be here, no, because it was just very interesting. Uh, oh, excuse me. Very interesting. Something about yeah, it, the the name of his domain. Mm -hmm. I think it was supposed what to be like, like kitchen. Yeah, something kitchen, and apparently it was something. It may have been something else. Damn, I have to look it up now. Okay, well, I'll, I'll I'll let it be for the sake of the podcast. But yeah, I'll ask my friend about it later. Um, but yeah, no, and that was a good episode. Agreed. Um, let's see. Last but not least, we have Dark Gathering episode twenty. It was my other episode of the week. Um, you know, sure, why not? I at this point, I know I'm picking back. I'm piggybacking off Oni, and guess what? I don't care because <laughs> this was this was a this was a crazy fucking episode. Yeah, we keep talking about like the the ghost backstory getting worse and worse. <laughs> I think this one's a contender. Yeah, it's it's up it's up there with incest ghost baby. Mm hmm. It's up there. <laughs> it's up there. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, rip, rip to that not real ghost. Uh, that not real. Me what was her name? Shammy? Who wasn't even Shammy? Who was just possessed. Possessed by. So we learned that not only. Uh, well, when a person gets replaced, they also get access to the person's memories so there's basically no way of telling no way at all yeah. at this point we don't know if oswald is 
um, possessed. I feel like it's a little too easy to be like, oh, yeah, of course he's possessed if he talked mm-hmm. about it. But I feel like they're going to do like a gotcha moment and be like, nope, I'm human all the way. I just the fuck humans. Yeah, fuck people. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> like, I just like the ghosts more. Sorry. Um, it also brings up like the theory or I guess the thought that maybe what if Yadaway or Eiko has been replaced? It would explain a lot about like Yayoi knowing so much about ghosts in general if she was actually replaced this whole time. Yeah. I feel like maybe I feel like Eiko's just fucking crazy girl. Yeah, Eiko might just be crazy. <laughs> she's just fucking crazy. I think she just really likes Kate though. <laughs> um Yeah, th- th- that that scene with the with the go- first of all, the moment he starts the, the seg by page two. I was like, "Oh, you're a ghost." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> by page two, I was like, "You're a ghost." Mm, yeah. No, honestly, when he was the last one, I'm just like, "Okay, fifty percent chance he's a ghost." They they kind of got me a bit when like yeah, I looked and saw he was still human with her other eye. I'm like, "Oh man, maybe it's more complicated than him being a ghost." And I'm like, "Nah, never mind." Once he started like making, you know more pictures or whatever by three page three yeah. i was like you're a ghost i don't care the the yaoi it's it's giving it's giving ghost or possession of ghost mm-hmm. like something with the ghost in him is happening and then he was like it's surprise interesting that, it's ghost. interesting that he's the ghost and not his mother his crazy mother stepmother yeah yeah that's kind of kind of cool though because yeah. i feel like that'd be the more obvious way mm-hmm but no, it's the kid, and he's like, when? I'm mad because my mom... First of all, did he just call this person his mom? I feel like at some point called this lady, yeah, like, his cool. mom. That's, like, mm-hmm. not his, yeah. Because when he said my mom killed the other guy and then killed me, mm-hmm. I got confused for a bit, because I'm just like, wait, why does mom come out of nowhere months later <laughs> and just <laughs> randomly kill this person? Like this dude who was cheating on her ex husband, <laughs> or cheating with with her. Yeah, he was he was banging his ex husband's girlfriend. Why would she kill him and then kill her son? I was like, that makes no sense to me. Yeah, he was just referring to the the lady. Yeah. yeah, this his his step mommy. Who was not a nice person by any stretch no. of the imagination. Nope, she kind of was just like, let me just kill them. Very kill. extreme reactions. They're like, I'm just gonna, I got caught cheating. Well, I'm gonna kill my husband. Uh, then I'm gonna kill. Well, uh, well, she didn't kill. The guy killed the, the husband. The other guy killed fair. the husband. And then, she, well, then she immediately not... moving to let's chop him up and turn him into meatballs. And feeding them <laughs> to the sun? Yeah. See, it's not cool. I'm like, did they feed them or they were just like, let's just throw this meat out? Like, I don't. I think that she gave it to the son and be like, throw this meat out, but it's like, yeah. He was but then I guess hungry. he was just, but I guess he was hungry, yeah. And also, just... you put him in the form of meatballs. What do you expect to happen? Oh my god. Oh my god. She didn't even, she couldn't even cook the dad for him. No. He was like, it wasn't good. That, it, the, the, it wasn't good, it killed me. It wasn't even properly seasoned. He was like, it didn't taste good. I'm like, no. It's fucking raw. It's fucking raw. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And yeah, he he's a pretty strong ghost also. Uh, because what we've seen of the ghost so far, I've always been saying, like, it'd be cool if like, the ghost actually like just killed somebody. Or like... <laughs> don't. Well, you don't have to wait any longer. Because <laughs> he, he fucked that, that woman up. <laughs> literally blew up her insides mm-hmm. i was like oh so that's why there are body parts in the <laughs> yeah. that makes sense there's a long line of people being hung mm-hmm. so yeah i don't know if i was if i was them i'd be like girl it's time to get that graduate out yeah and pray that she just don't kill you first because <laughs> <laughs> that shit is crazy Send out the uh, the courtesan to take out the Shoda. I've seen this before. <laughs> Musashi. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Um. But yeah, I wonder if the mom is also a spirit. 
No, she, mom's also a spirit. Yeah, right? she showed up at the end. Or yeah. Like, or or she was like, oh my god, switch with me. I'm like, switch girl, no, me. fuck you. Nah. Girl, no, fuck you. Why can't a nicer ghost ask me to switch? Like a ghost who's like just chilling and having a good time. Like, hey, you want to switch with me? Right. <laughs> but yeah, it was a crazy fucking episode. That life, that background story was intense. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Well, poor, poor meatballs. Apparently, she was. Apparently, I think what he was also made into meatballs too. So that didn't help. Yeah, that didn't help. Lots of meatballs. This woman loved meatballs. She really did. She uh, like, there one thing. Meatballs. I should say one thing. I know how to cook is a meatball bitch. Mm-hmm. Shit, should I have meatballs? Should you I have want chicken meatballs balls now? After all that, <laughs> kind of. Oh. Yeah, it gets hard for me to get squeamish. I don't. Like if anything, like, like I said, it, it's kind of the same effect that um, that movie about the dude who just ate nothing but McDonald's, mm-hmm. uh, supersized me. And you just wanted McDonald's after? Yeah, like I just wanted <laughs> McDonald's after it. Um, and I just want meatballs. I'm for, I'm just hungry. That's probably why. I'm also hungry, but I will not be having meatballs. I'll be having. Like... Unfortunately, well, for me, like... I'll probably have oatmeal cream pie. Oh, 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 you hungry for some that other food. Insert your joke here. Wow. Mm. (laughs) All right. Well, that is the end of the weekly reviews. And that's also the end of the podcast. Oni, be a dear and take it away. Guys, if you enjoyed this week's episode of Life Wars Podcast, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to get every episode as we go up. Every week, if you haven't already, do follow us over on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, and join the party on our Discord, all linked in the description down below. You can even join us for our few live watches, where we'll be watching Jujutsu Kaisen and uh, Spy Family. So if you want to join us for that, you know what to do. And Drew, do you have anything you'd like to say? Um, like I said earlier in this podcast, uh, have a great Thanksgiving be thankful for all the things that you have even if you don't think you have a lot trust me there like <laughs> it can be worse you could be in gaza so be thankful be grateful always a good message be thankful for what you have and reflect on it mm-hmm. and enjoy until yes. next time this has been Soberoni and juvie do we'll catch y'all later later bye